Hello and welcome to this session. So today we are going to learn about tuples and in the last session we have already seen list. So in Python we have four collection data types list, tuple, set and dictionary and we have already seen list in our last session and we know list is ordered, indexed, changeable and duplicate. Now tuple is similar to list the only difference you will find here is it is unchangeable so you cannot change any element you cannot add or delete elements in tuple and we use these brackets circular brackets to create a tuple so let's get started and, and let us see how exactly you can work with tuple in a very easy way so I will go to my pycharm and create a new python file and I will name this as python tuple and here I can start creating so we know we use these brackets to create a tuple and I can give it any name I can say my tuple equals to and in the brackets I can give any number of elements of any data type so I'm saying this is apples oranges and grapes so I have created a tuple and now I can just print it so I will say print my tuple and I will do a right click and run python tuple and this will print all the elements in the tuple now if I want to print any particular element I can always use the index so I can say my tuple and I can give square brackets and say index position so I will say one so one means index uh, one has oranges so if I run this now it is printing oranges and now you can also use negatives so if I say print my tuple and in the square brackets I say minus one so can you guess what will be printed here let us try I will run this and it is printing grapes so you can see when we give a minus index it starts from the back so here it it took grapes which was at minus one and it has printed this so you can use uh, these kind of operations as well also if you want to print a range you can say print my tuple and here in the brackets square brackets you can give a range for example I say 0 to 3 so it will print from 1 to 2 index position so if I run this now you can see it is printing apples oranges and grapes which is from 1 to 2 or I, 0 to and if I say 2 here it will not print grapes if I run this you can see it is not printing grapes only apples and oranges so this is how you can do it and then you can always use a for loop as you, we have used in list so you can say for value in my tuple and a colon and you can say print well and if I run this it is printing all the values in the tuple here and then as we have seen and as we have studied here it is unchangeable so we cannot change the elements so for example uh, like we have done in the list I cannot say something like if I say my tuple and I give the index position 1 and I want to change it to let us say cherry and if I run this let us see what happens so you can see we have got a error here an exception here and it is saying tuple object does not support item assignment so you cannot assign any item or change any item also if you want to add something so you can see we already have index position 0 1 and 2 occupied if I say add at index position 3 which will be a new entry even this is not allowed so if I run this again I am getting an exception here so object does not support item assignment so you cannot even add any new object so this is not allowed in tuple then you can use some other things so again because it is unchangeable you cannot even delete so if I say delete a uh, item at index position 2 and I run this and let us see so tuple object doesn't support item deletion so you cannot even delete of course you can delete the entire tuple so if you say this delete my tuple that will be a valid operation and that will delete the entire tuple so this you can do and then uh, you can do many other operations for example if you say my tuple and dot you can say count index and all these things you can do with tuple and you can also get the length like we have done in list so you can say length of my tuple and I run this 
and you can see it has printed 3 which is the length of the tuple and then you can also add multiple data types to a tuple for example I will say I will create a new tuple I will say my tuple 2 and I will say equals to and circular brackets and I will say this is banana and then I will add another tuple so this is a nested tuple I will say 1 2 3 so another tuple and then I am going to add a list here so we have learnt we use square brackets for list and here I am saying Tokyo and New Delhi so I have actually created a list inside a tuple and now I can print this if I say print my tuple 2 and run this it has printing the entire tuple and now if I need to access some particular uh, element for example I want to access New Delhi so for that what I will have to do I will say print my tuple and this entire element this entire list is at index position 1 for this tuple so I will say 1 and New Delhi again is at index position 1 of this particular element so I will again say in square brackets I will say 1 and if I run this it should print New Delhi and uh, let me see it has not printed it so okay so this was 2 so it has printed 2 here so this was my mistake this element is at index position 3 so if I run this now it is printing New Delhi and now uh, we have seen we cannot change the elements of a tuple but what will happen if I say my tuple 2 and I say index position 2 and index position 1 equals to New York so what I'm basically doing is I am changing the I am trying to change the value of New Delhi to New York so let us see what happens if I do this and print my tuple 2 let us see if this operation takes place I will run this and yes you can see it has changed it so that means you can change the mutable elements within a tuple so because this was a list and list can be changed so we were able to perform this operation so this is very important so keep this in mind you can do these kind of operations in tuple and also if you want to check if some particular element is present in a tuple or this you can use even with lists you can say I will say uh, banana in my tuple 2 so if this is present it will give an output of true and if I say something like print and I check cherry in my tuple 2 now cherry is not present in the tuple so this should give an output for an output of false so let us see if what we are saying is true I will save this and run this and you can see it is printing true and it is printing false so this is how you can use tuples I will also copy this entire code and I will make this available here so this is the code for list and then I will also copy the code for tuple and all these notes will be available in the description or the notes section of this video I hope this was very useful for you thank you for watching